Hi everyone and welcome to a new tutorial in Fusion 360. Here we will create a new component. It's the compressor. Make sure that the sub-assembly, the compressor in situated in the sub-assembly and it's activated. Just select the, the right plane and start a circle with diameter of 55 so you can see here you can start with two millimeter and select this one like circle uh, like a plane and draw this one I will actually read the video and you have to draw this step by step it's not too hard just I used um, a line and arc with three point and add some dimension and constraint as you can see you have to fix all things to the center once you have this one just use revolve feature and use this axis to revolve that's the first feature you're done as you can see here dust select the top plane and start with an arc three point and draw an arc just like this it's too easy once you finish you can see here just add some constraint to your arc and add some dimension as you can see here Here I have an error because you have to select the best one, the point to the point and add some dimension. Here you can use offset and offset the arc with one millimeter in uh, 0 0.3 millimeter in each side I didn't find an option here to select the two sides I don't I don't know why but it's important if fusion team add this in the software Here I project it just to make the modify using the trim and you yeah, have just to use um, yeah trim feature. As you can see. add a line to close your profile
the same thing here for me i press l to have a line once that's the first sketch just validate the sketch and and do anything just select the second surface now i will draw a spline here and the idea is to use uh, the two sketches to make a best form forever you didn't see just please make a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you are new in this channel and find the people uh, episode in my website kamanayan.com Once you finish all of this, you can use sweep features. Just select this one like profile for the path. You can choose this one. Make sure the operation is the join, not the cut. Here I will use the twist angle for 60. Okay. I think it is done here what i have to do is to cut over of all the, the other things as you can see here i will just make accelerate the video and make it Once you finish working on the sketch, just select the two of this profile. Use revolve and make sure that the cut option is activated and you have this like a result. I will, I want to repeat this using the circular pattern use this like an axis if you can just rotate it the tip is full put here 10 and just wait a sec to have the result once all thing is okay you have a nice result here just let's go let's jump to the another sketch in the top plane you can choose this one and go ahead and draw this once you finish the sketch just make a revolve cut and use here like an axis and the work is done here you can add the chamfer you can pin pin it to the bar here now select this surface and make this sketch you 
you can extrude it or use Q to press pull in this direction as you can see make it two objects and work done thanks for watching and see you in next tutorial